Hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be solving a important question of python which was asked in the recent interview okay so the question is find out the common letters between two strings using python this is the first task second task is find out all the letters between two strings using python and uh, find out letters which is present in one string but not in second string and vice versa okay so this is the two input strings okay uh, first is sakat pejapati second one is geek coder so here we need to find out which letters which alphabets are matching which alphabets are not matching which alphabets are you know common or you know uh, and all the all the uh, all the alphabets okay right so before that i would like to introduce my website geek coders here this is a complete package which i have built and if you go over here you can see combo package of azure data engineer membership one time payment and lifetime access okay so here you will be seeing like eight to nine courses okay all these details i have mentioned over here and this is the roadmap to become an Azure Data Engineer. First, you have to learn Python, then SQL, then Databricks PySpark, then Azure Data Factory, then Logic App, then Data Lake Project, which I have built, then Azure Data Factory Project, which I have built, then Build End-to-End -end Project, which I have built, and then Databricks Interview Questions, and then Snowflake. So if you if you can see over here, these all are the projects or the courses which I have built and which you will be getting inside this project or in inside this package. Right, build end-to-end -end project, then build a real-time project, master in ADF, then master in Python, then Apache Spark with Scala, Databricks, PySpark real-time scenario questions, and solve real-time scenario problems using you know with the help of uh, logic app and a powershell right so all these things courses are present although i am also passing here a new courses i mean you know uploading more new courses like microsoft fabric or snowflake maybe you know microsoft fabric course will be completed by end of this january month and this will be added in this package also right so if you wish you can go and check out this course this package and you do not need to pay multiple money you know and the package fees is also very less as compared to other instructor like people are charging 30,000, 50,000, 60,000 I am just providing maybe within of 10,000 or 15,000 whatever right? right so you can just look into the prices now we'll see the question so what I'll do I'll first create a function so def f underscore uh, common alpha something like that I can write alpha okay here i will take input one and what is the type a string and then input two what is the type a string what it will return it will return i am saying set it will return a set okay or uh, <coughs> a list i can say correct and then what i'll do what i will do uh, you know i will create a set see why i am using here set because set will give me a unique unique alphabets okay in this input one you can see in saga Pachapati, a is repeated multiple times maybe p is repeating multiple times right so i need to only consider a single a single uh, alphabet right single time alphabet so that's why i am using here input and input one underscore set is equal to set of what input one right likewise i will do the same thing for another one input two underscore set is equal to set of in sorry input two okay and here i'll just print input one underscore set comma input to underscore set just for you know to understand what is happening and control c and i'm gonna call this function right and i'll pass here input one comma input two right i'll go here and run this you can see input one is not defined it is showing that's true so i'll just copy this over here and put it here 
right? Now you can see it printed me like this as R J A space T P all the Unix number unique number and then in the Greek coders it also printed a unique alphabet so not number I would say right now if I want to know if I want to know the common letters right so what I will write here I will write common letters right I will use here and operator and here I will give the message saying that common letters I'll copy this control C control V control V here I will write all letters and here I will write present in and first string but not in second okay and here I will use instead of this I will use all operator and here I will use minus operator means you know set a minus set b that is the same thing and vice versa ke liye, I'll just copy it paste it over here present in second but not in first and here I will do input 2 here I will use input 1 correct now if I scroll this to if I expand this then you will see common letters RSG that is true all letters all these present in first string but not in second we can say this and vice versa this is the output right so this is the way by which you can actually you know uh, use the set operators you know to check whether you know uh, a combination of two things maybe if you want to have it and you know if if some numbers or some letters are present in first list but not in second then you can use that and this only applies in the set not in the list these operations you know apply only in the set not in the list as per my knowledge okay <clears throat> so you know you can leverage all this stuff and you can also write here return zero right so this is the way you know which i wanted to tell you you i hope that you understood about the set you know how you can use set maybe you know you have a different methods we have multiple ways to solve this problem if you have any you can ping me you can post the solution on the linkedin you can also post the your your question your answer on the comment box and also if you like you can go and check out my courses that is very beneficial for you and i i hope that you will love that Love those courses. Chalo, thank you. Bye-bye. We'll meet you in the next lecture.